Hi, welcome to Rev. We're in Munich for the 2021 IAA. We're going to take you through the top five trends that we've noticed at the motor show this year. Transformers are in. As urban spaces are getting more and more crowded, it seems like urban mobility solutions are shrinking. What you see right here is the city transformer. It is the comfort of a car crossed with the flexibility and the space-saving capabilities of a motorcycle. Uh, from what I understand, the car, when you drive it at normal speeds on the road, is 1.4 meters wide. But when you need to park it, it can shrink to just one meter wide which means that in a single parking slot you can park four of these city transformers thereby increasing the chances of actually getting parking in the cities and also saving a lot of time and uh, saving space. I'm not quite sure if this counts as a transformer or not, but let's just say that this is something of the X-Men of last mile mobility solutions. Um, it is all the benefits of, let's say, a motorcycle, although pedal powered with assistance from a 1000 watt battery, combined with uh, the flexibility of moving goods like you would in a van. Uh, this is the Fulpra, which Honestly, it reminds me of something we have back in India called the Jugad, but it's a lot safer and a lot more legal. Another trend that we've noticed at the IAA 2021 is the fact that there is still an attempt being made to save the internal combustion engine using synthetic fuels. So A fuel is a global energy carrier. There is a focus to produce e-methanol in desert countries, so for example in the Sun Belt. There we have high energy density of the solar and there we can produce methanol and as well as the additional component, the C-Sync. So we produce to 90% methanol and to 10% uh, graphite, which we can bury down in the, in the ground and there's a, a storage for the carbon. So that's the reason why we can achieve minus 24 gram per kilometer. CO2 neutral is too less because we are already have too much temperature on Earth. So we need more, we need to be active, we need to reduce emissions. And then at the moment there are different concepts to reduce CO2 emissions, but one way which can store for a long time is to do it in a solid state. Another trend that we've noticed at the IAA 2021 is that while most of the show is BEV dominated, the fuel cell electric vehicle hasn't been written off yet. Right here with me is BMW's iX5 Hydrogen. It is the company's fuel cell electric vehicle which they believe can complement their battery electric vehicles because they believe that not every customer leads a lifestyle that is compatible with electric mobility. This car has a power output of 275 kilowatts, which is a combination of the fuel cell as well as the battery. Uh, although BMW says that with just the fuel cell alone, uh, the power output is 125 kilowatts, which means it is the most powerful fuel cell currently used in the automotive industry. Currently, this car can give you a range of 500 kilometers, although in the future, BMW hopes to take that number up to 600. century now which means that a lot of things that we once thought were just pigments of Isaac Asimov's imagination are now coming true which brings me to one of the biggest trends at the 2021 IAA which is autonomy or the self-driving car if you take a look right here I'm sitting in the iCrystal Mobileye electric autonomous shuttle there is absolutely no steering wheel and no pedals this is a shuttle with level 4 autonomy and it can function as a bus it can function function as a metro. It can also function as a personal mobility solution where you call it using an app and it ferries you around with absolutely no need for a driver. It doesn't drink and drive, it doesn't text and drive, it doesn't get you know agitated or distracted, it doesn't fall asleep. There are a lot of advantages why actually this technology will save lives and uh, we know you know 94% of, of, of actually all accidents 1.35 million traffic deaths per year, about 50 million injuries per year. 
are actually caused by human errors, human drivers. Continuing on the theme of autonomous driving, this right here is Hyundai's Robo Taxi. It's meant to be Hyundai's driverless car that will hit the roads in 2023. It comes with level 4 SAE self-driving capabilities, which means at your beck and call is a driverless car to ferry you around. This might seem like something of an obvious statement to be making, but the truth is the overall and overwhelming statement that the A8 2021 seems to be making is that the future is electric. Remember when I said the IAA 2021 was overwhelmingly electric? Well, I wasn't kidding. What you see behind me is the Porsche Mission R. This is Porsche's interpretation of an all-electric race car that they will offer their customers very soon, possibly as soon as 2025. So essentially what you could see is an all-electric Porsche Cup with cars just like this taking to the racetrack. Of course, this is still a concept car, but Porsche is planning to go in this design direction. And if you're wondering why I'm so excited about an all-electric Porsche race car, it's because Porsche has 19 overall wins at Le Mans. So when they say they know how to build a race car, I believe them. What do you think of the trends that we've seen at the IAA so far? Let us know in your comments below.